Welcome to the channel. I know it's been a long time last time I did anything with this, but uh, I've been waiting for some parts and I finally got everything I need. So what I'm going to do with this one is change the transmitter and connect all the servos and stuff again for the autonomous operation. I realized that with the footer receiver transmitter, which I attached to this one before, it was all nice, but it has only four channels and I need more than four channels for the autonomous operation. Uh, namely, I need one additional channel, so fifth ch uh, uh, receiver transmitter channel for changing the mode from autonomous to remote control. And for that, I looked through a lot of the different choices uh, and well, I didn't want to spend too much money on it, so I got this radio link. Uh, I believe this is six channel remote control system transmitter and a receiver for it, which I'm now going to change into the autonomous TRX-6. Uh, let's go through a bit what I've put here. So uh, here's the computer I put here earlier, the Wi-Fi part, some of the cabling, uh, USB power bank, what else I have here is uh, two boxes. I will put there from Pololo, the circuit boards themselves. Uh, I will put links to the description. So this one is basically a system which you can control, collect, connect with a USB to the computer. And the computer then can basically control the servos and uh, everything else connected to this. So this is effectively the same like the receiver we have uh, which is then sending all the data, all the signals to the different servos like this for the camera, for the ESC and so on, steering and so on. But this one, its source is the computer via this USB. And in order to be able to switch with the transmitter between the autonomous and the fully manual version of driving this, I got this box also. This is a device from Pololu. You basically connect all the input or servo of the servos here and the ESC and so on here and here you connect uh, both the receiver and this USB connected box and there's one additional channel here which allows you to choose which mode is being used is it the autonomous one meaning all data coming from the computer or all data coming from uh, your transmitter so this is effectively a multiplex. It, it's kind of a switch that enables you to choose between where your data is coming or going to. So all of these needs to be connected together with quite a lot of wire, for which I finally got a lot of these, some cheap ones from Amazon. I'll put links to them. Uh, but before connecting all of this, first I need to change the receiver here to a six channel one. Let's start with that and a disassembly of all of this. I designed a lot of this so that I wouldn't need to do this constantly. But uh, unfortunately, having to change the transmitter now, so I have to disassemble most of the car. Oh, there's a lot of dust gathered here. As you can see, the radio link. And next, I will connect all of this stuff here all the way to the body. So uh, now I finally got all the cables in. I included this battery voltage sensor stuff as well. Seems like a nice feature, especially when it's autonomously going somewhere so I can remotely see if it's going to run out of battery at some point. Uh, all the cables have been pulled. Though actually I'm a bit suspicious if the cover will fit, but let's see. So all the cables are now out. Time to pack things together. Next is to put the cover of these cables back in. Let's see how they go. I don't think it was meant for this many cables. Okay, now the cover is back in place. Everything kind of fit there. Need to put this one somehow. Uh, attach the battery stuff. Um, yeah. Yeah, everything is kind of a bit stuffed. I don't like the quality of this attachment. I have a bad feeling it can, let's say, get damaged a bit under here. I need to take all of these servo cables out from underneath as they will go up now above the 
uh, board above the body. Okay, this is this is quite a cable mess, but let's see how it will go. So now I need to put the uh, body back on. So everything is put in place. Uh, cables have been put out. There's a new receiver there now. Next one is the center of all connections, meaning the multiplexer of the signals, which I need to put somewhere. I can't put it here because here will be the battery. I already have the battery. I just need to get some aluminum, which is getting really difficult to get. And I need to make a box for it um, to keep it safely in place. Yeah, but next, this one. I have no idea where I can fit this. So I had a chance to try out different locations for this, this USB box and for this multiplexer. And I realized this one isn't a good place either. But the USB cable is long enough to put this somewhere else. Then I thought about putting it here on top of battery. Not a good idea either. But I realized there's plenty of space inside the cabin. So I'm going to put them there and accessing them. It's not going to be a problem since I can see through the windows. And I have this double-sided thing on the other side so they can be removed. Okay, next uh, I will start, I guess, putting this in place. Okay, so there they are. I think you can see them. They're now both attached with this double-sided, or this, I don't know, sticky tape, whatever, where you can separate them, put them back together. I'm going to now start to connect everything to these boxes inside the car. And at the same time, I'm going to write some sort of letters into every one of these connectors to show where they're connected to. Quite a mess, yep. Uh, so the, on the left side here is the cables that go to the ESC and the servos. And on the right side is the are the cables that go to the receiver. Next, I need to put uh, these connect cables here, which go to the USB-based servo controller. So here's the uh, USB servo box now connected, USB servo controller, uh, connected to here, to this multiplexer. So now all the cables are inside the <laughs> body. Yeah, it's quite a mess and I will definitely clear them out and attach them better once I've tested that everything actually works the way it's supposed to. Okay, I got the cardboard box to <laughs> hold this middle part up and a can of tuna fish and pea soup and a book to hold the end up. So next is to power this thing up and see how things go. You can still see the possible incoming disaster. I've done a lot of robotics and stuff and I mean designed some really big powerful equipment and the first starting is always by far the scariest. Okay, stop button is here. Okay, something clearly happened. Yeah, this didn't go the way I was planning. So, sorry viewers, uh, it seems it was correctly configured and my battery is just down too low. So I'll keep a break now and what I'll do next is uh, recharge the LiPo and then we will continue. Okay, see you back after some hours. Okay, I have now charged the battery, uh, put this all together again and <laughs> reconnected everything, hopefully better. So let's give it another try and see how this thing starts to work and or if it works at all. Um. Okay, let's see if it works. Okay, uh, I'm using this potentiometer now here to turn the camera. Turns really nice. Yeah, works really nice, the camera. Uh, steering works. Uh, it needs again adjustment for the range since it's a new transmitter. And if I put it to autonomous mode from this switch, so now nothing should work. Yep, if I put back to this mode, it goes back to and camera works. And the nice part here is that I can see from the transmitter now actually the battery voltage of the car. So it's 12 volts now. 
So next I need to adjust the steering servos uh, because they are running into physical stop. They're trying to go further and further turn, but they can't. There's a physical stop. So they're stupid in the sense that they don't have an inbuilt kind of a controller to understand that now I'm exerting myself too much. That's what no normally in robotics and many other fields, bigger sized uh, servo motors and controllers and so on, you have this feature. In this, you don't. The only thing you can, you can do is adjust the angle and tell it don't go beyond this angle because there's going to be a physical obstruction. And as long as you stay in this angle, you're not going to overload yourself or break your sprockets or anything. So the, a lot of the problems that come from is that just the servos and these controllers are just quite, how would I say, stupid compared to what they are in many other fields of engineering when they are used there. I mean, they are very intelligent servos. They call, I'm using them often in other projects, they call dynamic cell servos. I will put a link to the descriptions for them. You can configure inside the servo all these things. It measures the torque, current, everything. They're very intelligent. They don't destroy their gearing, anything, but they are very, very expensive. That's the main thing. Some of them more expensive than your RC car. <sighs> Crazy job. Um, I really like this audio link. It's so simple, the interface, despite the letters of the menus could be more descriptional. So now I have an override switch for the autonomous feature, which I think it's excellent. So uh, what I will do next with this, well, I will do the cabling, uh, extend the battery cable to make everything a bit operate better, at least, it, I mean, easier to use. Uh, and so I think next videos will be about continuing my work with this computer. I have made some decision changes what I'm going to put into this one to make it easier. And hopefully then we will get some image from this one and get to drive this outside. But unfortunately, I don't think I will be driving this outside anywhere near us. So next videos will be about this definitely. Um, I will show you why. So this is my track currently. And over that way uphill is where I usually have my, where I've done my videos earlier driving the autonomous, and that's where my crawling track is. But it's currently covered in a lot of snow. So with the electronics and everything, I will have to wait until later in the spring for things to clear out. See you in the next video. Please like, subscribe, and thank you for watching.